As we are back at the Toyota Center, the Houston Rockets have equaled their largest lead of Game 7, leading the Clippers 48-33 with 5 minutes and 40 seconds to go in this first half. Right now, the Clippers are in so much trouble, as I keep mentioning, and it all starts with Chris Paul, who has no assists in this game, after having 11 assists in Game 6. Chris Paul goes to the left wing, guarded by Jason Terry tightly to Blake Griffin. It's a right corner three-pointer for Redick. It's nothing but the bottom of the net. You can give the assist to Blake Griffin as the Rockets lead the Clippers by 12 points. 5.25 to go here in the second quarter. Trevor Ariza straight away. Hands it off to James Harden, guarded by Redick. Gets a pick. Shoots inside to Capella, and Capella is fouled as Harden faked a three-pointer and passed it inside to Clint Capella, and as soon as Capella caught the basketball, he was fouled, as the Rockets will have possession with 14 seconds on the shot clock. It'll be a side out for the Rockets. Inbounds pass goes to Josh Smith at the right wing, hands it off to James Harden, double team to the right baseline to Smith, floater is up, no good, rebound taken down by Chris Paul, pushing the ball up the court to J.J. Redick at the left side, Throws it away. He threw that ball away. There was nobody in the vicinity. Good defense by the Houston Rockets to force that turnover. They double teamed Redick in the corner. Good closeout. That is nine turnovers for the Clippers. As the Rockets have a 12-point lead with four minutes and 55 seconds to go in the first half. Hand off to Terry to Josh Smith at the right wing, guarded by Blake Griffin. To the right baseline, to James Harden, goes straight away, guarded by Redick, pulls back, shoots a three-pointer over Redick, off the rim, no good, rebound taken down by Barnes, goes up the court to Chris Paul, setting up the offense, gets a pick from Jordan, driving to his right, pulls it back, right baseline jumper, is nothing but the bottom of the net, so five straight points for the Clippers, as the 15-point lead is down to 10, with 4.25 to go here in the first half, Chris Paul has six points on three out of six shooting. Goes to the left is Harden. Outside is a three-pointer for Trevor Ariza. Off the rim, no good. And hits the shot clock out of bounds. And the ball will go right back over to the L.A. Clippers. A chance to cut this lead to single digits after they have trailed by 15 on two occasions here in this first half. Chris Paul setting up the offense. Guarded right now by Jason Terry. Goes to his left. Setting up the offense. To the foul line. Knocked away. But... Uh, Chris Paul comes back up with it with 12 on the shot clock. Driving to his left. Picks up his dribble. In trouble. Inside to Griffin. Lobs it to Jordan. Who slams it with two hands. Good passing. As it is now single digits. The Clippers are on a 7-0 run. As the Rockets now lead 48-40. to With 3 minutes and 56 seconds to go. Here in the second quarter. And wisely... Kevin McHale calls timeout as the Clippers have found something in their offense. Good patience that time offensively as this lead, which was once 15, is down to 8 points. The Clippers just have to settle down offensively. In the beginning, they, have, they were a little bit tight, it seemed. The first quarter, they had 7 turnovers. And the last couple of minutes since the last timeout... They seem to have settled down as they only have two turnovers here in the second quarter. The Rockets have also settled down. They had eight turnovers in the first quarter. The Rockets with just one turnover here in the second quarter as Terrence Jones has checked into the basketball game for the Houston Rockets. Straight away is Dwight Howard to James Harden at the left wing to Terrence Jones at the right wing. Jason Terry straight away hands it off to Harden. Nine on the shot clock. Harden gets a pick, going to his left. To the right wing, Terrence Jones fakes a three, four on the shot clock, driving inside, puts it up, blocked. Coming up with it is Jordan. Hands it off to Chris Paul. Up the court to Griffin. It's a right corner three-pointer for Redick. Off the rim, no good. Rebound taken down by Terry, pushing the ball up the court. Lays it up, no good, but it's knocked out of bounds. There's no foul is called. The ball is knocked out of bounds by DeAndre Jordan. And it'll be a side out for the Houston Rockets. I thought that was a foul on DeAndre Jordan. But the referees let them play. That was clearly a foul. He knocked Jason Terry to the ground on his drive to the basket. But it'll be a side out for the Rockets. Inbounds pass goes to Ariza. Inside to Howard who slams it with the right hand. 
Good interior passing off the inbounds pass by the Houston Rockets. And the Rockets' lead is back up to 10 with 3 minutes and 5 seconds remaining in the first half. Chris Paul setting up the offense, going to the left, guarded by Terry. Pulls it back, crossing over. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Terry guarding Paul. Paul floats it up off the front rim, no good. That was selfish. Rebound taken down by Harden. Harden driving on Griffin, lays it up. It's knocked out of bounds by Blake Griffin. And it'll be a side out for the Houston Rockets. That was a very... Very out of control play by James Harden as he drove on three Clippers. As we'll have a timeout right now by the officials. The Rockets lead the Clippers by 10 points so far here in the first half. We'll be right back after these words. As we resume action right here, both teams have done a good job of moving the basketball in the last couple of minutes. As I mentioned early on in this game, the Rockets and the Clippers have combined for 15 turnovers as we are here in Game 7 of the 2015 Western Conference Semifinals. James Harden with 12 points and 4 assists in this game. Rockets up by 10 points with 2 minutes and 48 seconds to go here in the second quarter. Inbounds pass goes to Harden. Losing it, but Howard comes up with it. Trevor Ariza straight away, driving to his right. It's a right baseline jumper for Terrence Jones. It's nothing but the bottom of the net. As the Rockets have a 12-point lead with 2 minutes and 34 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Setting up the offense right now is Chris Paul at the left wing. Gets a pick from Jordan. A left elbow jumper for Chris Paul. He rattles it in as the lead is down, is down to 10. The Rockets lead the Clippers by 10 points. 2 minutes and 15 seconds to go in the second quarter. 8 points for Chris Paul. Ariza catch and shoot 3-pointer straight away. No good. Rebound taken down by Chris Paul as he approaches the timeline. Gets a pick from Jordan driving to his left. To Blake Griffin, a wide open jumper from the top of the circle. is nothing but the bottom of the net. And once again, the lead is cut to 8. Rockets lead the Clippers 52-44. With a minute and 50 seconds to go here in the first half. As the Clippers doing a better job moving the basketball around. Much better patience. And when you're patient, it leads to a wide open jump shot. As the Rockets have the ball right now. Harden setting up the offense. At the right wing. Guarded right now by Barnes. Driving to his left. Lays it up. Outside. It's a wide open left corner three-pointer for Ariza. In and out no good. Rebound knocked out of bounds. And it's off to White Howard as he was fighting with DeAndre Jordan. And the Clippers have a chance to inch even closer. Trailing by only eight points. With a minute 35 to go here in the first half. They once trailed. No, twice they trailed by 15 points. To the left wing. It goes to Chris Paul. Paul at the top of the circle, picks up his dribble, leans in, puts up a shot. Off the glass, no good, but he is fouled by Jason Terry. Good, crafty move by Chris Paul as he faked Jason Terry off his feet and drew the foul. And now Chris Paul has a chance to cut this Houston Rockets lead, which was once 15 points to 6. First free throw is up for Chris Paul. It's good as the lead is down to 7. As in the blink of an eye, the Clippers have just gotten back into this game. Chris Paul, 9 points, but only 1 assist in this game. You could also credit the Rockets' defense. Free throw is up. It's good, and it is a 6-point game, just like that, with a minute and 29 seconds to go here in the second quarter. Terry, at the midcourt logo, guarded by Paul, straight away to Terrence Jones, to the left wing to Terry, inside to Howard, and we have a foul on Blake Griffin, as they say Blake Griffin went over the back of Dwight Howard on that pass, and it will be a side out for the Houston Rockets. That's the second personal foul on Blake Griffin. Side out for the Houston Rockets. They'll have 14 on the shot clock. A minute and 16 seconds to go here in the first half. Inbounds pass goes to Josh Smith. The, the top of the key, that's Terrence Jones, excuse me. To the right wing, it goes to Harden. Harden gets a, a pick. Guarded by Redick. 
Setting up the offense. Two on the shot clock. Driving to the foul line. Tough shot over Reddick is off the side rim. No good. Rebound taken down by Jordan. The Clippers can cut the lead to four. Under a minute to go in the first half. Hands it off to Reddick. To the right wing to Chris Paul. Driving. Floater is up. Off the front rim. No good. Rebound taken down by Howard. Up the court to Terry. To Terrence Jones. Driving inside. He slams it with the right hand. But was there a whistle before the slam? Yeah, there was a foul on J.J. Redick before the slam as Redick fouled Jason Terry on the fast break. So no basket for Terrence Jones. A uh, good foul by J.J. Redick to stop the fast break as Jason Terry will get two free throws. Terry in his 16th season. First free throw is up. It's good. Terry has... Lots and lots of playoff experience at 38 years old. He won an NBA championship with the Dallas Mavericks in 2011. In his career, he's made 2,076 three-pointers. Erin has always been a great shooter for every team he's played for in the NBA. You remember back in Game 6 of the 2011 NBA Finals when... Dirk Nowitzki was struggling. He came in and scored 18 points in that first half, hitting three-pointer after three-pointer and mid-range jumper after mid-range jumper as we resume action right here. The Rockets have an eight-point lead with 42 seconds to go in the first half. Inside to Blake Griffin, puts it up off the back rim, no good. Rebound taken down by Howard. Hands it off to James Harden. To the right wing, it goes to Trevor Ariza. Back to Harden, driving inside, lays it up, alley-oop to Howard, who slams it with two hands. Good penetration and dish by James Harden to find Dwight Howard on an alley-oop, and the Rockets are back up by 10 points with 20 seconds to go in the first half and 14 on the shot clock for the Clippers. James Harden with five assists in this first half as the Clippers have eight seconds on the shot clock. Jamal Crawford setting up the offense, driving, puts it up, knocked away, coming up with it is Crawford, one on the shot clock, puts it up, it's an air ball, coming up with it is Terrence Jones, pushing the ball up, Jones at the boss for three, off the glass, no good, and that is how the first half comes to a close as the Houston Rockets lead the Clippers 56-46 to here in Game 7 of the 2015 Western Conference Semifinals. The Rockets trying to make it to the NBA Finals for the first time since 1997. The Clippers trying to make it to the Western Conference Finals for the first time in their history. We'll be right back after these words.